All right, let's continue with uh, video number two. Uh, continue where we left off before video number one, where we created a, a ball class, which is a blueprint of the ball object that we're going to use. Again, the objects are real life entities that, you know, they have uh, properties and you could do things to it. You, you know, we could do actions uh, like, you know, with the ball, we could bounce the ball, we could throw the ball. And the ball is, you know, a ball could be a small ball, a large ball, it could be yellow, blue, green, or whatever. It could be flat, it could be full. And, um, uh, but what we created this class, the ball class, in, in the previous video, um, we created some properties here, the, the size, we can set the size, we can set the color of the ball. The user actually sets that with, the, with this constructor here. And since the user cannot, uh, does not set the air pressure and or tell whether the ball is flat or not, when the user creates these, this object, when the the program goes here and creates a ball object, uh, we have to set these, uh, uh, you know, air pressure and is flat to a default. Uh, default setting. So the air pressure here, I just made this up. It's 20 and is flat. Since it's 20, it's false. The ball is not flat. Okay, so continuing with this, um, we, we have everything that we need to create the the, um, the object, the instance of a ball, and we did. We created a tennis ball that's about, I think a tennis ball is four inch in, in diameter, probably less, but you know, whatever. Uh, and the ball color is lime, uh, not really lime. It's kind of lemon, like the yellowish green or whatever. Um, so we have the ball, and now what? Now what? We can't do anything to it. Uh, so let's start create uh, some operations so we could do things to it. Um, and the first operation that I'm going to do, to create, is uh, let's uh, bounce. Okay, let's bounce the ball. So I'll create a public uh, meth method call that does not return a, any value. So I'm just going to say void. If I wanted to return a value, I just say integer. If I want to, if I wanted to return an integer value, or I could just say double if I wanted to uh, return a a double value. But I'm not going to return anything. Uh, I'm just going to just say void, and I'm just going to give the name. Of this uh, method here, of this operation, um, let's say bounce. I said right. So we're going to work with bounce. Oop, and I have to spell bounce correctly. And um, bounce is not going to take any parameters for now. Just keep it keep it simple for this uh, tutorial. Uh, let's say bounce is created now, and let's just print. Um, just print a line for this here to represent a bounce here. Just print a line that says the ball is bouncing. Right? The ball is bouncing. That's all we're saying here. Okay? But um, let, let's do let's go a little further here. Let's differentiate the ball. Let's say if I create two objects, two instances of a ball, I want to say I want to tell them apart. So the so let's say the, and we'll put the color here, right? The color of the ball. So it would say it will read the color, whatever color it is, ball is bouncy. So if I had, if the ball, if the instance of this ball is red, so the red ball is bouncing. So if we have two different uh, objects, two different instances of a ball, I could row both of them and we know which one is which. Okay, so just for this example. Okay, so here it is. We have a, a a function. We have a method that we could use here for this ball. We could do something with this ball now, um, and we couldn't do that before. So, like we did in the previous video, we create this our ball. Like the ball is a new data type that we just created here with this um, with this class, and we declare this tennis ball. Um, and created the, the first instance 
uh, with the ball being four inches in diameter and lime. And um, the ball by default is full because the is flat is false and the air pressure is 20. So, okay, so we could just bounce this ball, so let's do it. Um, so we just could go here and say tennis ball and bounce. And that's pretty much it. We've bounced the we bounce the ball. So let's run this. And if we go down here, we're gonna see the output of our program. And here it is. The lime ball is bouncing. So if I create let's create another ball here. Uh right here. I'll create ball and I say uh soccer ball. And it's a new ball that is about 10 inches in diameter and it's white with yeah just call it white <laughs> it's a white ball let's make it let's make all caps to be uh, consistent okay so right now all I'm bouncing is the tennis ball so let's bounce the uh, the soccer ball now soccer ball and bounce so if we run this program here We'll go down here to see our results. Yep, the line ball is bouncing, the white ball is bouncing. And that's pretty much it. That's how simple it is. Um, and in the next videos, I don't know how much time I'm running this video for, so I'm going to stop for this video here. Uh, in the next video, we're just going to go further and do more things to this ball, create more, th more uh, operations for this ball so you could get a better understanding. So, okay, stick around, uh, click on video number, two, number three, and we'll see you there.